things you need to know. I'm not going to be in the program. I don't care. I know you don't care. I don't want you to care. <laughs> I'm not I didn't even know your name was Martin until a little yeah. while ago. I thought you were Gabriel. Led Zeppelin is an immovable force in music that uh, will never be forgotten. Let's put it this way. Can you imagine music without Led Zeppelin? Because I can't. You're always going to hear some element of, of uh, what James Brown created and started back in the 60s. The samples that are made from James Brown's music is a distinct appreciation that says, thank you, Mr. Brown. James Brown, the godfather of soul. figured out the best thing is to stay in a rock band. Stay great, don't be crap. But put some... <laughs> stay great, don't be crap. Those are two very good <laughs> they rules. They are different, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So when I ask you a question, and you... Who am I talking to? No. Don't call, don't say Martin. Don't say Martin. And Martin... I would say, even though you're not there, Martin, here's the answer. Since you were the one that did it, da -da -da. okay, okay, don't say Martin. What's it like in a club when a Prince record gets across? I don't know. What do you think it's like when a Prince record happens in a club? Well, I can tell you, but I don't think anyone in the world cares what I think. Don't have to be He plays, um, bass drums, guitar, any and all keyboard instruments. No one plays more instruments than this dude. He could play a little sax if he wanted to. <laughs> he plays all of his instruments better than all the people in his band. And he sings. He's genius. He really is genius. He was the king to be. You know, he was the heir apparent. I'm not going to keep you here for an hour. No, nah, cool. Bored? I hope you're not no, bored. No, 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 I'm not bored. Okay. I, you got to do your job. Okay. John Peel's the most important DJ of all time, I think. It wasn't like he was just like a DJ that played obscure music. He was really, really important culturally, you know? He was a soothsayer. He saw what was coming. Here, in John's study, lies a small wooden record box containing just over a hundred final 45s. That's all right, that's right. You can't help but like it, can you? That, to me, is the inspiration for my life, just sitting there in that box. Uh-oh, and now I'm really in trouble because I don't know if that's the name of the artist or if that's the name of the track. You know, we've got to have Mojo Workout by Larry Bright. Mike Frith and Chris Surf, whoever they are, they're probably just really glad that they're still going to mention. Your enthusiasm and your spirit is one that is so inspiring, and every time I see you performing live, um, it completely leaves me speechless. You are the master. I love you dearly, and have a great evening. Oh, fantastic. Can we do one more? Yeah. Because all the, that stuff at the end is really personal and brilliant. I think the idea of the achievement in your brain is stumbling, because you said achievement a couple of times. The rest of it is brilliant. I think you should just say, sorry, I can't be there tonight. You deserve this achievement. It was obviously going to get banned anyway, right, yeah? You know what I mean, right? Yeah. But to say that, you say it's obvious that it's going to get banned. I've just lost the sound of the microphone. All right, let me just check the clip on that. All right, hang on. We've lost the sound from the microphone. Um, it's fine, okay. Here, must be, must be on that end. Can I ask? Do you remember what, which particular scene it was then used or written for? Do you remember the scenes in the film? No, it's been a while since I've seen it. No. Sorry, I could do my homework and get back to you. <laughs> no, you check. <laughs> well, I, I know, it's kind of, it's Hazel learns that one of the brothers has died. And then it's kind of, it's not a death scene, but that there's, a, there's an awareness amongst the rabbits that they've lost one. And then there's these kind of very ethereal images where they're kind of continuing on their journey, but living through this knowledge that maybe they've lost somebody. 
do, do you, I mean, is something in the lyrics perfectly suited to all those images? There's a kind of fear, a cold sound in the air And nobody ever knows when you go And where do you start? Oh, into the dark Once again, here we are, 20 years later There are people dying now I was one of the people who said, what's the point of doing it again? Are you sure this isn't going to be cheesy? <laughs> I'm sorry It's kind of not charity, it's to do with political justice. If we can grip this moment now, then something actually can be done. One of the people in, um, in that film um, is alive. Here she is. Is it about time we heard the best record in the whole history of the world ever yet again? Well, why not? I need excitement and I need it bad. I think that's the kind of feeling that drives all great people to do something.